Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Kristen Spangenberg, and I'm curator of prints. Today, I'm sharing with you a new acquisition, one that I brought to the attention of the collectors Joel and Bernice Wiseman, whose collection of over 800 Japanese prints came to the museum recently. The print is by Kogyo, a Japanese artist who lived from 1869 to 1927. The title is Camo, done at, at 1901, and it comes from a series, Pictures of No Plays. Now, no prints epitomized the styling of Meiji prints and was a focus of Kogyo's graphic work. It is a woodcut, and that means that a piece of wood, the design is placed on the surface, and that area that they don't want to print is cut away. With a color print, each color gets its own block. In the case of this particular print, gold and silver and mica highlight the costume and the full frame. Now, no plays are to have ex elaborate costumes and carved wood masks. They also have stylized dance movements and chanting. In the case of this particular play, uh, a, it's a story about a maiden deity who graces the waters uh, adjacent to Kamo's shrine in Kyoto. This, it represents a spiritual connection and celebrates the um, coolness of the waters of the Kamo River, which run close by. In th this particular role, the performer represents the appearance of the thunder god. And you see his very dramatic gesture. And what really suggests that he's a thunder god is that wonderful sort of wood grain background, which suggests that there are claps of thunder right there on the stage, which really had very few props and um, a group of magicians nearby who probably beat their drums to represent the thunder. <clears throat> so this is a new work to our collection and it represents something other than kabuki performances. The performances of no developed in the 14th century and were basically for the audience of the aristocracy and the warrior class. Now think about what you see today in the form of performances, perhaps not in the theater, but on your TV screen and how the dramatic moment is played out.